Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to this video and I hope you're all doing good. Okay, um, right, in this video let's talk about uh, Kubernetes daemon sets and um, um, we'll have a quick demo um, once the machines are up. So, I'm gonna bring up my cluster using Vagrant, cd to Vagrant, cd to play directory and then um, git clone my github repository so it's all in the description cd to kubernetes cd to vagrant provisioning okay that is my vagrant file if i do vagrant up it's going to provision a master node and two worker nodes with uh, three nodes in the cluster right while it's um, being provisioned i want to show you um, a slide Okay, so just think um, just think of it as a Kubernetes cluster with six nodes. Um, so you've got node one through to node six. So you've got different types of machines here. The ones that are in blue are um, different to to the ones that are in green. Uh, just to make some differentiation, um, just think of it as uh, these nodes uh, in the blue are having a, a GPU graphical processing unit and the other nodes are just a normal nodes um, or these could be 64-bit, 32-bit just wanted to show you a, a mix of machines in the cluster right okay so when you deploy a daemon set so how is it different to other parts and replica sets so when you deploy a replica set you say um, you want to deploy my application my pod um, on I need to deploy two instances of my pod so the scheduler will go and pick up uh, two nodes based on uh, the uh, load sharing based on um, how many uh, nodes are busy and how free how much resources they've got so it does some magic and then finds appropriate nodes to place your um, <coughs> pods so whereas a daemon set is a, a pod uh, that you can deploy to all the nodes in the uh, in the cluster so when you deploy a daemon set without any restrictions a simple daemon set it's going to get created on all your nodes node 1 through to node 6 so if you add additional node node 7 to your cluster the pod will get deployed on node 7 and uh, if node 1 goes down that's it uh, it won't schedule pod on any other nodes so one node one pod per node so basically you're running a daemon on all these nodes so that's the example shown here. For example, um, I've chosen Nginx just for an example. So if you deploy uh, Nginx as a daemon set, uh, it's going to deploy Nginx on all these nodes. So if you add more nodes, all the nodes will have exact um, one instance of uh, <coughs> the pod run-in. Okay, so uh, there are other variations. You can target specific uh, uh, class of nodes in your cluster. For example, this one. Um, say I want to deploy a daemon set but this daemon set should run only on nodes where I have got specific label um, for example uh, I want to run the daemon set uh, I want to run the daemons on only on nodes where it has GPU okay so now if you add additional node for example a green node which doesn't um, come under the class of GPU so the Nginx pod won't get scheduled in there and okay so the next one if you add another node with GPU it's gonna get uh, the Nginx part so that's the uh, uh, responsibility of the scheduler so each node will have it it will make sure that all the nodes will have your uh, parts running so that's daemon set it's completely different from uh, replica set um, right so that's it for the uh, uh, presentation let's see how the provisioning is going on so it's still um, bringing up the first machine and it's going to take another four or five minutes. So I'm going to pause the video here and come back when it's ready. Right, um, Vagrant has provisioned the virtual the virtual machines. So we've got three virtual machines, a master node and two worker nodes. I'm going to copy the um, uh, Kubernetes uh, configuration to my uh, host machine so that I can run kubectl command from my host machine uh, without having to log into uh, the kmaster so make directory dot cube under my home directory and I'm going to scp 
um, from kmaster the etc kubernetes admin.com file okay cool so now I'm gonna clear the screen above as well right kubectl version so I'm on version 113.0 kubectl cluster info so we've got the cluster running kubectl get nodes we've got three nodes two worker nodes all of them are in the ready state right okay so what I'm going to do now is on the top pane I'm gonna run kubectl get all um, and I'm gonna monitor what's happening as I'm deploying resources into this cluster so um, on my checked out um, code if I go one directory above and there is a directory named YAMLs. So if I go in there, I've got um, nginx daemon set.yaml file. Let's have a look what's in that file. It's a very simple file. Um, nginx daemon set, uh, the uh, type of resource we are deploying is a daemon set. Uh, name is nginx daemon set, spec and selector. So um, it's going to group all the parts that it's going to create under the name, uh, under the label demo type. So that's the label that I'm assigning uh, to all the uh, parts. So here it is. So all the parts that gets created through this daemon set will have this label. Demo type is nginx daemon set dot demo. I'll show you when it's created. So that's how it's going to group all the parts under this daemon set. Um, nothing specific so we've got the part template and the container specification we're going to use the nginx image let's see what happens we haven't got any uh, node affinity node selector or anything it's just the it's just a normal daemon set so when you deploy this it's going to get created it's going to create the part on every single node you have got in your cluster so in our cluster we've got two worker nodes uh, kworker1 and kworker2 so it's going to deploy the part nginx part on those two nodes let's see what it's doing what it's going to do kubectl create minus f nginx daemon set dot yaml so it has created the daemon set and if you look here daemon set the desired count is 2 current it's 2 up to date is 2 so none of them are ready or available because uh, in the back end the worker nodes are trying to pull the docker image for nginx so once it's uh, pull the docker image and start it we will see the status uh, getting changed to running so as you can see here one part per node so it has deployed the nginx part on both kworker2 and kworker1 let's look at some um, some the daemon set and the uh, the part specification kubectl describe daemon set nginx daemon set pipe that to less Okay, so selector, so that's the one I was talking about. So how come this daemon set know what parts to manage? So this is the answer. So any part that has got a label demo type that's set to nginx daemon set demo is going to get managed by this uh, daemon set. So we haven't got any node selectors and we have given the label to the, um, to the daemon set as well. In addition to the uh, parts, we also um, assign the label to the daemon set so decide number of nodes scheduled current number of nodes scheduled number of nodes scheduled with up-to-date um, and so on so two running zero waiting zero succeeded so it all looks good so let's look at the description of one of the pod kubectl describe pod nginx daemon set for for example I'll pipe that to less Again, so if you see here controlled by, you can see which daemon set actually controls this pod. And you can see all sort of things. And uh, here's the label and the container description and uh, the events. Okay, so what if we try to kill kubectl delete pod nginx daemon set? Say, let's delete the pod running on kworker2. Okay, so that's terminating and the scheduler is going to create another part on the same node kworker2 because its job is to make sure that 
this part gets run on every single node so it when we terminated it uh, it again created a container created a part on K worker too okay so that's well and good I'm gonna delete that now kubectl delete daemon set nginx daemon set that's gone and the parts are getting terminated okay so um, if you look in the cube system namespace you can look at uh, existing daemon sets there are already a couple of daemon sets running in the cluster I'll show you kubectl get daemon set minus n cube system so you have uh, cube flannel so that's the uh, the container overlay network so that's how the containers communicate between pods they, they get the same uh, they are put in the same network although uh, nodes are in different uh, network how can the containers from one pod uh, in one node communicate with the other pod so they have to be in the same network so that that's what we are using uh, flannel for that overlay network so that network needs to be running on all the nodes including the master node so that's why you can see the desired count is three and we also run the queue proxy uh, daemon on all the three nodes so if you want to start writing a daemon set you can uh, look at these two daemon sets kubectl get daemon set cube proxy minus n cube system minus o yaml so basically it spits out the uh, yaml file you can delete um, uh, unwanted things and then you can go with the uh, um, the basic one so this is how I created my uh, uh, daemon set right so let's make one simple change to the uh, to the file nginx daemon set dot yaml right what I'm going to do now is I'm going to target specific class of machines so um, I've already done a video on node selector how you can um, schedule a part to a specific node by assigning labels to nodes so that's what I'm going to do now okay so I want to run this part on node selector okay so uh, let's say CPU type R GPU present to true so um, I want to run this part when you deploy this daemon set I want this daemon set to deploy parts only on nodes where we have GPU present so it's just a single um, change just a couple of lines I'm gonna save that and it's not going to work right now because if I do kubectl get notes minus l uh, gpu present equals true we haven't got any resources for that so we need to assign the label let's assign a label kubectl label node kworker2.example.com <coughs> I'm gonna assign the label gpu present equals true okay so it's been labeled if I run the same command again to show the labels so now you can see kworker2 has got that label and we have specified our daemon set should run only on nodes where it has GPU so this is how um, you do it okay now if I do kubectl create minus f nginx daemon set dot yaml created and you can see the node selector value is GPU present equals true so that's how it selects the uh, node so the node where we have GPU is K worker 2 we did that by adding a label so it's gonna create the pod uh, only on K worker 2 so if you are adding a new node to this cluster and if you assign this label and another instance of nginx will get deployed on on the new node and if you don't assign that label it won't get created so that's basically uh, the slide the third or fourth slide that I shown you in the um, start of this video okay so um, did I cover everything I think I did okay let's clean it up kubectl delete daemon set nginx daemon set 
Right, that's gone and it's getting cleaned up. Right, I think um, I wanted to keep this video short. So um, I think uh, that's it for this video. I'm planning to do my next video on uh, jobs and cron jobs. So how do you run jobs and cron jobs in, uh, in your Kubernetes cluster? So stay tuned and watch for this space. If you've got any questions or comments or any feedback, or if you think I'm doing something wrong, please let me know uh, in comments. I should be able to respond to you uh, in comments. So um, thanks for your time today watching this video. I hope it helped you uh, and keep learning Kubernetes. It's an exciting um, open source project and uh, it has got a great community. Okay, so um, thank you so much and please uh, share it with your friends and if you like it, um, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.